In this video, we're going to show how to copy communication templates from one application to another. Go ahead and app, open up your primary application you want to copy the uh, new template into. And I'm going to go ahead in the professional mode, open up the application that contains the communication sheet that I need. Down the bottom, I'll look for the communication sheet. In this place, it's a Coriolis Master Lite. Right click, select copy. And I'm going to go ahead and drop down the tab, select the application I want to load it into. I'm going to check the box to say make a copy, and I'm going to put it in front of this sheet. And in a second, it copies it over. So I'll verify that the sheet looks good. And then I'll go ahead and compile the application. After it's done compiling, we are going to go up into displays. Because each template that we load to the flow computer application, we need to make sure that it's a display set up for it so we can change things like the Modbus ID and see some of the information. You can see our new sheet was added in, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. We're going to go back to the application that we copied it from, and then we're going to go to displays. We'll find the display that we're looking for, which is down the bottom here underneath Coriolis Light. We'll go ahead and right click that, select copy, hit cancel and then we'll open back up the application that we're working on we'll hit displays and after displays open up we'll go down to that Coriolis sheet right click on it and we'll hit paste and that'll put us our new display in we'll go up to ports and devices and we'll go ahead and unassign the regular sheet that we were using and now put in our new sheet Zoom back out, we'll give it our name, and then we'll go ahead and hit apply, and then OK. We'll compile, then do a file save as, and we'll save a copy of the application. After it's done saving, we'll load it to the FlowX. We'll then go into the Flow computer, log in, go to communications, we'll select our new template. This is where we can set up the Modbus ID, or if we're using an IP address. Set that. Then we're going to come into configuration. We'll go to the meter run. We'll go to the flow meter and then we'll go down to density. We'll verify that we're using a smart flow meter and then we'll go to observe density and just validate that the smart meter device number is equal to the communication sheet we just floated in. And that's it. It should be ready to go.